to the weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located outside of Delmont, Pennsylvania, where we treat individuals and not necessarily diagnoses. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be Amanda Mahalski. Um, I'm a physician assistant student from Seton Hill University. On my, on my right, um, Caroline Shepard, and I'm also a physician assistant student from Chatham University. And thank you so much for joining us, and thank everyone out there for viewing this podcast. So, as the viewers, as regular viewers might know, every week we try to incorporate something that, uh, that we talk about here at Seclair and maybe take it out into your life and maybe something that you can use in your, in your practical life, in the real life. So we're, today we're going to be discussing, what are we going to be discussing, Caroline? Um, judgment versus opinion. We're going to be making, we're making, we're going to be talking about judging and evaluating versus describing and observing, are we not? Yes. You bet you. So what, what, would, be, what would the difference be? Can you talk, talk to us a little bit about that, Caroline? Well, observing is strictly just just saying what, you're, what you see and what you're observing with, no, with nothing good or bad and no opinion involved in it. Um, judgment is when you involve your own opinion in it and it can be good or bad. Sure, and what can will you add to that, Amanda? I think she said it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone out there, when you're when you're out there in the world, do you feel like you're being judged? Do you feel like people are evaluating you? The way that you stand, the way that you dress, the way that you talk, the way that you came from, your social economic status, your educational status. Do you feel that people are judging you? And if that's so, I'm going to ask yourself, how does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? So in turn. What we're talking about today is how can you know when I'm observing, when I'm observing and describing, and when am I evaluating and judging? Do you like to be evaluated and judged? No. So we, you and I talked a little bit before about what an evaluation and a judgment was. Did we not? We did. Okay. So and what was that example we talked about? With the hats? With the, uh, with the being pale. Oh, yes. <laughs> From personal example or experience. Um, I felt I feel judged when somebody says um, you're so pale. But then, if somebody was to say something like you're so fair-skinned, that's more ob observing to me, and I don't feel it to be as judgmental. So saying that you're pale is judgmental, and maybe perhaps referring to you that you're sickly. Yes. Okay. Where where the description is that you have fair skin. Yeah. And that, that, is that, would, would that be a true observation? That's it. Okay, true. sure, sure. So in that particular instance, how, did, how, would you, how would you feel when somebody, would you say that to somebody? Would I say that they're pale? Yes. No. I mean, I have before, but now that I've heard how it makes Carolyn feel, I probably wouldn't anymore. Right, so the way, we have to watch how we, how we are, are judging and are evaluating certainly affect how we feel about other people. Now remember that we, we do this how many times a day? How many times an hour? How many times a minute? Probably more often than we think. Well, sure. So the idea is that when you walk into a room, you, you, are, you are evaluating and judging every single, single thing that you see. You're not? So here at Seclair, what we try to do is turn and get people from another different perspective to be able to observe and describe, to be able to, describe, to observe and describe exactly where you are. So one of the mantras here at Seclair is, where are you at and what time is it? And when I say, where are you at, that means that you're right there in that moment and you're able to label, accurately label and describe everything that you see. The colors, the textures, the sounds, what, the, the temperature, whatever's going on in that particular moment. You're becoming a scientist of life. You're becoming an observer of life. And when you do that, you can truly participate rather than sit back and judge when you're judging. Oh, this room's too hot. Oh, this room's too cold. I don't like it here. Have you ever walked into a room of men and... and with a crowd of people, and automatically pick one person out that you didn't like. Yeah. But that you, that you, did, never even met them, did you? No. No. How many times has that happened to you? Have you ever, have, have you ever met somebody that say, uh, that they didn't like broccoli? Yeah. Uh-huh. And what did, maybe you want to ask them, what happened when you ate broccoli? Did you grow horns? Did you turn, mm -hmm. did your skin turn red? And quite often what they'll say, I never tasted broccoli. So the idea is, is that I would like everybody out there, does anyone like to be judged? Do you like to be judged? No. No. 
Do you like to be judged? No. No. So when you're in front of a, when you're in front of one of your professors, when you have a relationship with someone, when you're out on a with with a partner, do you feel that you're being judged? Do you do you try to put yourself in a position where you want to put yourself in the best light for that person? Yeah. Mm hmm Sure. So you, you don't want to be judged harshly, do you? No. 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 However, what's inside yourself? What 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 is that beautiful person that you are? That, that beautiful person that's inside, that beautiful, pure spirit. Do you really have to change yourself for anyone, no. Amanda? No. Do you have to do that? No. No. So my thought to everyone out there is understand that if you're being judged, you're the only person that, that is truly able or capable of judging yourself. And that's what I'm asking. I'm asking everyone out there to become a scientist. I'm, every, I'm an observer of life, a student of your life, and not only that, a student of, of everyone that you see, a student of your environment. So let's, uh, let's have a little practical uh, demonstration. So would you put that on? Sure. So if I would say, if I would say to Amanda, Caroline has a gesture's hat on, and that would be a... Observation. That would be an observation. So could you tell us what a opinion would be? An evaluation. It's the ugliest hat I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> or Caroline's weird. <laughs> that would that would certainly be a judgment, wouldn't it? So would you uh, put your hand on? And if I would say Amanda has a colorful hat on. And I'd say she's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so the difference between you know, the difference between evaluating and describing okay so I'd like everyone out there at least today to take a few minutes and look at when they observe when you're observing and describing versus when you're evaluating and judging take a few minutes to understand it and when you are observing that's great however when you're evaluating and judging I'd like you to step back and look at that situation so if I would put this on what would you two say it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. And at the end of every podcast, what we like to do is offer a free prescription. That would be fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Unplug your television and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask that you fish without bait. So until then, please do a kindness for yourself and do a kindness for another. Namaste. Namaste.